going on guys welcome to slade tv your boys back and we got more manga unboxings this time i have the claymore box set uh going into this manga i'm very excited because i don't know anything about claymore or the plot but the uh, main protagonist looks like a female guts because she's got a giant sword we can have a look around uh seems to be some type of cool armoring here and uh, yeah, it's very cool. It, uh, from what I see, it gives me like Guts uh, Berserk vibes, just but with a female lead, which is awesome. And the box set is very nice. Uh, it was going around in the manga forms and people definitely were like, well, we've been waiting for this one. And I think going into a manga completely blind is very exciting. It'll probably be my first time going into a manga, having all of it. Um, and just going into it without knowing anything. So something about that is very exciting. All right, always have to give a moment of pause because that plastic is always so loud. So this one is like the bleach box set two, where it's just uh, from the side. So I guess the box sets that have more mangas in it. So when we open it up right here, this is pretty sweet. You know, we get this full picture and then you get all the manga on the inside. So yeah, this is very sweet and uh, it's a very sturdy box set. 27 volumes complete everything comes with it so yeah generally very exciting so i'm gonna go through these manga covers just to have a thought just to see how it looks if they get a little too spoilery i might stop like if it seems like it's giving away the plot but i don't think it will so this one looks kind of just like this one claymore volume one and i just like wanted to make sure it was english i don't know why it's like a thing that i do so Let's go. Volume two, with the double daggers. Honestly, just looking at this, it's making me very eager to start reading it. And of course we got more characters. This has a more, uh, uh, what I like about this one, these covers, Shonen Jump Advanced, uh, so far is that they seem to be kind of picture book-ish. Like they're not the best, but like they're not like crispy drawings, you know? But they are, very uh what's the word old school very 90s that's what vibe i get from this and yeah so it says shonen jump advanced which is cool and wow this cover is beautiful i definitely already have a favorite cover so far and yeah definitely berserk vibes yo and i'm definitely digging that like got the girl she's facing some type of demon uh the art style reminds me of the original berserk anime uh, I kind of wish they, they would have to finish Berserk to release a Berserk box set, am I right? But uh, yeah, these are these covers are freaking nice, yo. Like, I'm really, I'm definitely really digging this. Uh, little snowy and uh, female swordsman vibes. Okay, a little, uh, uh, almost looks like, I'm not gonna go ahead and guess what's happening here based on such a vague cover, honestly, but this is awesome. A, looks like a graveyard of swords. It seems like there's a lot of cool stuff that'll be going on in this show. I definitely don't want to spoil myself, actually, because I'm going into it so blind. Matter of fact, the fact that I'm going into it so blind means I probably can't really imagine what's going to happen anyway, in my experience. So we got the first half stacked up and... Sorry, that was like a very awkward movement. Uh, volume 15 now, and here we move in. A lot of the covers are, the covers don't seem to give away too much, which is nice because uh, my last unboxing was the One Piece unboxing, which definitely gave away a lot, but luckily I've watched all of One Piece and know what's gonna happen. So I guess if I had no context, maybe even looking at the One Piece covers, I wouldn't be able to guess anything because if I had read this or watched it, I'm not sure if this has been converted into an anime or if from what I think I've heard, the anime is not that good and people recommend the manga, but that's the case for a lot of shows. So not entirely sure. Through. 
pretty awesome. Looks like the main character just with some uh, development, some time skip, something of that nature. I'm gonna try to keep this one quick. Let's get a quick unboxing here. Oh yeah, some freaky stuff. A little Medusa vibes or Greek vibes. Uh, definitely digging it. Might have to do a review after I read this uh, manga. My first manga only review. Uh, I think everything else that I've read, I previously had some type of uh, backstory from the anime. Berserk, uh, Monster. I didn't really read Monster. I like skimmed through it because I had seen the anime. Um, yeah, definitely. All right, two more. Um, so we got, damn, this is so much more comfortable. So we got this one right here. Looks like a final boss battle and um, final cover here. Yeah, so there seems to be a lot going on without it giving away much. So this is the Claymore illustrations and you know, you get some artwork and um, hopefully some not Yeah, definitely some not public eye material there for the quick second that I looked through the that I looked through this uh, illustration book. Damn. Anyway, yeah, look at these all stacked up. You gotta love it. Damn, this is like a this is a definitely has no balance, hanging on by a thread, kind of like myself. And this is my Claymore unboxing. Hopefully I really like it. Like I said, first time going into a series with nothing, no idea what's going on. And hopefully I enjoy it. If you guys watched it, if you guys read it, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment below. And as always, thank you for watching.